What's up, y'all? My name's Totem Trouser, and uh, this is my next Let's Play, Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. My favorite out of the Legacy of Goku series, I count Buu's Boo's Fury as a Legacy of Goku title. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get my levels right right now, which is something I should have focused on a little bit earlier, but, you know, shit happens. So, get no... <laughs> okay, so, without further ado... Um, this, uh, is my practice file. Spoilers, you get Piccolo and Gohan. Um, anyway. So we're gonna do this bottom one here. Sixteen years from the present day. Two androids with strength beyond comprehension appeared from out of nowhere. One by one, or uh, the, or the, the heroes of Earth were destroyed. It is the beginning of a new era on Earth. AN ERA OF DARKNESS! Oh, that doesn't sound pleasant. And that appears to be the androids that are so commonly known as the DICKS! <laughs> Shrunks and Gohan are the last surviving descendants of a powerful alien race of warriors called Saiyans. They may be the last hope for Earth. I'll go into who these guys are later. This is actually just kind of a beginning cutscene. Um... Yeah, Trunks is saying, This isn't fair, Gohan. Why are the androids doing this? All those innocent people. Is this the way life is supposed to be? I can't do any of their voices, by the way, so don't expect me to. I must fight. You're half Saiyan like me, right? You must know how I'm feeling. You're pitiful, Trunks. You're an emotional wreck, just like I was when my mother wouldn't allow me to train with my father. I'm your master and you are my pupil. If you listen to me, you'll become strong enough to face this. I won't let you down, and I won't keep my mouse cursor on the screen anymore. That's enough for now. Let's go do some basic training. First, let me practice your melee attack. I want you to use the melee attack to destroy the bowler ahead. Wow, he really meant basic training. Anyway, so yeah, um, up is up, left is left. That I love how that was right. Right is right, down is down, here's left. Um, B is shooting fireballs, I believe. And then A is punching shit. Um, you hit start. You can see the menu screen. Uh, we haven't earned the special melee or special thing like that. Um, you can right tap through the items. No inventory. Here's uh, here's this. No quest outstanding. Okay. So yeah, Gohan wants us to punch the shit out of this rock. Good. Now I want you to destroy that boulder up ahead. You can use the melee attack in this one too. But try to use your energy blast this time. Notice that each time you fire your blast, it uses energy from your energy meter. Yes, um, in, I'm not sure about Legacy of Goku 1, but in Boo's Fury, this kind of, I think it regenerates. In this game, it doesn't, which this game is actually pretty damn difficult, too. Or at least from what I've done in my practice, when I've died a couple times. That was great! Dude, I blew up a fucking rock, man. It was just, I'm the, I'm not gonna go who Trunks is the son of, or Gohan, because they're technically, it explains, uh, later on, but yeah. Saiyans are like, you know what, we'll go into that in a bit. As a Saiyan, you are the most powerful in Super Saiyan form. To achieve this, you need to focus your anger. We'll go into Super Saiyan form, and who and Saiyans will kind of just get explained um, throughout the game by me, and if not by me, by the game. But yeah, um, or it will go in when we talk about Super Saiyans. Anyway, you have to realize the android or androids are ruthless killers. They'll destroy me, your mother, and even you. Everything you hold sacred is a pile of trash to them. And then he gets angry. Uh, getting angry is kind of a uh, basis of going Super Saiyan. But like I said, we'll go Super Sa Once uh, We do get characters that can't go Super Saiyan. We'll talk about it then. You're doing it, Trunks. Don't be afraid. Let it go. Let it all go. It's okay to feel the rage. Harness it and use it as a tool. He almost had it. Incredible. He's giving it everything he's got. Yeah. Aww, poor Trunks. He punches the nothing. I can't believe myself. What a joke. What am I doing wrong? You just need to find the right motivation. And then an earthquake. Well, there's, I mean, it is a Japanese show. What was that? It's those androids ago. Oh, oh no. The androids. Stay here. I'll take care of it. No, no you're not, you can't go by yourself. Don't. Gohan, don't be a silly poo. G go, go, Gohan. Just make so Ingram punch this rock. Ugh. G Gohan. Yeah, 
Come on, Trunks. You said it right. Right? You said it well? Okay, well, yeah, I am a little bit weaker, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you notice, he's missing a fucking arm. Which is actually very cool in the movie. Because this whole actual scene actually takes place in a Dragon Ball Z movie that's one I think if anything it's one of it's my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie if not one of my favorite movies um basically because Trunks is a fucking badass by far my favorite character but yeah he lost an arm to the androids yeah there you go Gohan let's do this shit me and you can you go beat some ass in our first fi ow what the fuck man No, don't go off by yourself. You're going to end up, like, getting hurt again. I mean, they took your arm. There's not really much else they can take. Besides, you know, your life. And it's raining and sad now. Yeah, Gohan. Yeah. Okay, flight circle. Basically, this means progress to the next level. Kind of like the star in Kirby. Yeah, that's basically what this is. Whee! So yeah, we're in Peppertown now, and there's a there's a tree stump. There's literally nothing to do in this town. Um, there's bubbles, bubbles. Um, but yeah, right. We're supposed to be fighting evil robots that want to destroy the world, and we're the last two of the world's warriors. And Gohan, oh, oh no, G Gohan, you could you could at least try to defend yourself, not just stand there and take it like a champ. O okay. Oh no, Gohan, you blew up and died. Gohan, no. Gohan is like this my second favorite character and now he's dead oh poor Trunks think about this now this actually finally got me on my second on my play uh, practice run think about this man he has lost everyone now he is the only person on earth to fight these androids and he isn't ready and this was his best friend he has no one except for his mom imagine that yeah, right there. You were everything to me. And then he gets super angry. Blah! Ah! And in the movie, he beats the shit out of the androids right here. But he doesn't kill them. I don't think he ever kills them in the movie. Present day Earth. Also, really quick, I might as well show this before we have to talk about um, cutscenes. By pressing R or L, you can move You can move the box. Something really stupid that I just do to play with myself. Uh, I was about to say to play with myself. That's fucking a little weird. Something really stupid uh, I do just to mess around when, um, yeah. Anyway, present day Earth. Gohan, son of Goku, becomes impatient while waiting for his father to return home from defeating the evil tyrant Frieza. Frieza, actually, I don't know why I said Frieza. And remember that guy with the arm that died five seconds ago? Well, here he is as a child! That's not morbid at all, right? <laughs> don't worry, he isn't dead yet. <laughs> Gohan. I don't know why I'm saying his name. What's the deal, Mom? Where is Dad? Isn't it about time he returned? I miss him so much. Right. Little explanation here. So basically, Earth was attacked by um, two Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa. Vegeta and Nappa ended up killing a lot of Earth's warriors, and um, they needed a way to revive them using the magic of the Dragon Ball. So they go to Namek, which is where this all is going to. And you see, Namek becomes uh, this war zone because a man named Frieza is already there. Now, the only person that can stop Frieza is Goku, who gets to Namek late. So eventually he gets there, and him and Frieza have this epic battle. Like, really epic battle. And um, he ends up killing Frieza. And now, Frieza already had set Namek to explode, so Goku needs the GTFO the fuck out of there. So what Goku does is he takes a ship from one of Frieza's men and he takes it down to Earth. Now before this happened, all the peop all the people on Namek were wished to Earth. Namekians and all. Namekians are green people. We'll see one of them later. We'll see a lot of them later, actually. So he sends all of them to Earth, so he needs to get to Earth, and it takes him a full year. That's where this takes place, and that's why Gohan wants to see his father. Yeah, so, that's what happened. I know, honey, I miss him too. Now be a good boy and finish your studying. I want you to go to college and become a lawyer. Or a doctor. 
or scientist or the president my son gohan the president of earth chi chi's fucking awesome character oh mom but i want him trained to become a martial artist no son of mine is going to grow up and become a muscle-headed jerk blah 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 studying I didn't mean to accidentally skip through that. Now, where's your math book? How are you going to study without your math book? I bet you left it lying around the house somewhere. You better go find it. Right. So now we have to go find this math book. Let's go find the math book! Ow! Douche. You can pick up and interact with many objects by pressing the A button. Try and pick up the math book on the table by moving close to it and pressing the A button. So we go up to the math book and we go blue and we do the fucking Zelda thing because th whatever. It's not stolen or ripped off. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ow, fucking Gohan. <laughs> I'm going to be running into a lot of shit. Like, <laughs> because it, the, the run, the, it's really hard to turn when you're running. So I'm just, and it, it's kind of really is funny to watch them just slam into shit. So yeah, that's what's going to happen multiple times. If you don't like it, you can shut up. I guess I'll just do my math for a while. Yawn. What the hell? I don't remember opening the window. This looks like my chance to get outside for a while. Yes. Yes, it does. Let us leave! Boom. Save point. Okay, now what they're gonna want us to do is want, they're gonna we, uh, they want us to go over here. But if we go over here, ow! <laughs> if we go over here, ow! If we go over here, <laughs> we find a capsule. Now it's gonna explain to us what capsules do. Found a plus one power capsule. Never find a strength, endurance, or power capsule. You can use it by um, using it in your menu. Um, we're gonna wait till the end game to do that shit. But yeah, there is um. Fuck, I want to say 10 Namekians, and, um, which we discussed uh, in that little info thing. And um, there's also fucking... God damn, I can't talk right now. Um, wow, Gohan has some pretty good moves. Um, there's also 20, I want to say, golden capsules. But we'll talk about those when we get the mission for them. Ow. Okay, ooh, hello, rock. You are my rock claim you. Anyway, now we're gonna save. Now we're gonna run up here. Oh, by the way, in the first Legacy of Goku game, you could totally kill squirrels. Just throw them out there. Like, I went on my practice file. It's been a long time since I played this game. So my practice file, I just spent like 20 minutes striking, uh, swinging at squirrels. I was like, why can't I kill you? <laughs> um, yeah, we know how to run. Thank you. Whee! Okay, character gates. These are like little story gates, because at one point in the, in a point, uh, at a point in the game, you're going to get access to five characters. Now, all of them have a specific color, which it's going to be really easy to tell um, what that is. Now, Gohan's is light blue, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, and the level, like I, as you can see here, Gohan's level one doesn't really have much going for him. He's kind of a weak little dude. Um, but he's level 1, so he can hit this. Notice ahead that the barrier has 2 on it. Gohan must be level 2 before entering the cave. Right. So, I guess we'll just go over here. Squirrel! Let me kill you! Why don't you let me kill you? Oh, you know what, Squirrel? You're gonna rue the day when I let's play Legacy of Goku 1. Fucking hate your ass, Squirrel. Don't get away, get away from me! Get the fuck away from me, Squirrel. Bitch ass, Squirrel. Thinking he knows who this is. Oh, hey, it's really foggy and ominous. Dad! <laughs> oh, this is Goku. Hi, Goku! <laughs> He's kind of, you know, the big deal of the game. Um, anyway. Oh, hi, Gohan! Dad, is that really you? Of course it is. Yay! <laughs> All characters that when they're really happy, they just stick their arms up in the air. <laughs> it's really funny. Dad, it's really you! I can't believe you're back! I missed you so much! I missed you too, son. What happened up there at Namek, Dad? What happened to Frieza? Ellipse, ellipse. Oh, there's one ellipse, though. That's depressing. There's only one ellipse. You can tell me what happened, can't you, Dad? Ellipse. Dad? And oh my god, he's Frieza! Oh, right, 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 right. 
Your dad isn't coming back. He's a loser. Nothing but a loser. No, no, no! And we get our first boss fight of the game. Yeah, the first fight in the game is a boss fight. Now, Frieza kind of, eh, he's kind of a bitch, but I mean, they don't really give you much to work with. Um, fighting in this game is kind of weird, because as you can see, and the main thing that makes this game so hard, is that when you fucking strike enemies, they go flying like three miles back. So you have to like constantly run up to them to get them. Also, in this game, uh, or at least we don't have any health regenerating items yet, and tra, um, we will get some s soon, but yeah. So, my basic strategy for Frieza, oh, you can't get him in a corner either, because he just flies back like a douche. And I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, no, 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 no. Get the fuck away from me, Freeze. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't want to die already. But yeah, as you can see, really hard fight. Which is really dumb that they put it in the beginning of the game. But they do. So here's the game over screen. We're probably going to be seeing a little bit of this. And here's this stupid sound glitchy bullshit. Um, luckily we saved. So, um, I will see you guys back at Frieza. Okay, Frieza round two. Now, if you press up, ow. Damn it, dick. There's also no black button in this game, which sucks dick. Oh, that's a, that's a, like a roast beef or something, man. That's the shit you want to get. That fucking chicken leg last time sucked ass. Yeah, we're going to grab that right now. Because I don't know if it goes away. Now, food obviously reco recovers your health, and those little energy balls recover your, um, energy? Like, they're just yellow balls, and yeah! And he also explodes when he dies. Yeah, that's kind of another thing about this game. Whenever a big person dies, whenever, like, an important person dies, they just kind of explode. <laughs> um, it's a little weird, <laughs> not gonna lie. Anyway. Gohan has achieved level 2 and defeated the guy that was the main reason we were fighting in the first game and also for like the beginning half of the anime. So, oh, oh yeah, by the way, your skills automatically go up and what the he- uh, what? It, it, that was, oh, it was a dream! Oh. Now see, if we would have looked on the desk, we would have saw the top spinning, and we would have known, and it would have been, oh, okay. Oh, uh, what if he fell asleep? Would have been, ah, uh, we're not going into that shit. That's just way too complicated. Um, be f upside down, Shia LaBeouf lookalikes. Anyway, whoa, what a crazy dream. Could it mean that Freeze is back? I can sense him. Oh, yeah, by the way, everyone can just magically sense people. <laughs> just throwing that one out there. It's a really convenient plot to it. There's a bunch of convenient things that happen in Dragon Ball Z. Um, we'll go into one of them later. <laughs> but how can that be? The phone- that is the terrible phone ringer. <laughs> like, sorry, go on, but that's awful. Anyway, yeah, you can see his stats automatically went up. Um, he still kinda sucks massive ass. Which is just fantastic, really. Um... It's the phone. Maybe I should see who it is. Maybe you should, Gohan. Maybe you fucking should. Hello? Hello? Gohan! Are you feeling what I'm feeling? This is Krillin. Krillin is a bitch. He kinda dies. Every time. Like, okay, let me put it this way. Remember that guy we just fought? Yeah, he kills Krillin twice. Twice! Actually, he kills Krillin once and then gets him to the point where he's about to die but then a, real, a little green Namekian comes and saves him and it's, it's really complicated we'll talk about it later <laughs> in, in I'm doing Legacy of Goku 1 just not now because that game is awful oh um, Gohan are you feeling what I'm feeling yeah but, yeah Krillin but who is it it can't be you know who can it Voldemort Voldemort's in this game oh fuck man we're fucked I can't fight Voldemort I don't even know where all the horror curses are I'm afraid so. I can smell him, and I never forget that stench. I just can't figure it out. I'm sure my dad finished Frieza once and for all. So did I, but it looks like we were wrong this time. The rest of us are meeting up to make a plan. We probably won't be able to defeat Frieza, but at least we have to try. I'll meet up with you. First, I need to get my same battle armor. I hid it in the cave so my mom won't find it. By the way, um, as you didn't guess, his mom does not like him um, being a fighter. We are almost at 20 minutes. It's probably a good idea. We'll need any advantage we can get. Channel updated. 
Let's go. Anyway, so now we have to go get our Saiyan battle armor. And now that we're level 2, we can go do that. So let's go. Can't kill these fucking squirrels because they suck ass. Do, 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 do. What, and what's over here? I'm actually new. Nothing? Oh, hey, look, it's sunny, though. And there's a squirrel! Fucking squirrels. I'll kill so many of you! You don't even know. Wrath of hell is upon thee. Anyway, um, punch in the door. And we open this up, and we change. Magical changing. Actually, that box was totally the sunshine bar. Um, but yeah, now that we um kind of you know beat our first boss, saw the beginning of the game. We're in the beginning of the game. We have our same battle armor. Now we're going to actually fight the real Frieza. Um, I think that's enough for now. My name is Totem Trouser. Stay beautiful.